everyone! Today I'm going to walk you through a tutorial on how to use the Rescue and Smart Assistant tool. To keep things simple, I will refer to it as RSA for short throughout this whole video. Now RSA is a PC tool that you get to use at home and this will allow you to upgrade or refresh the Android software on both Lenovo and Motorola smartphones. Now the tutorial is going to show you how to connect your phone to RSA and your PC. Now using RSA, the Android operating system on your phone can be either refreshed or upgraded. Now after upgrading the Android OS, the hope is that any software related issues on your phone are no longer seen. One important thing to keep in mind when using Rescue. Once Rescue is completed, the Android operating system will be returned to a default state. So what does that mean for you? That means that any of your personal files, such as your photos, text messages, downloaded files, any of those files will be removed from the device. So please be sure to back up your data before running Rescue. So let's get started by showing you how to download RSA. The first step is to launch an internet browser. Here you will type in Rescue and Smart Assistant. The search results should show a link to the Rescue and Smart Assistant webpage. Go ahead and click on it. I have also included a link to the RSA page in the description of the video below if you don't want to type it in. So in the RSA website, you will find additional information that you can read through. However, for this video, we're simply just going to click on the download button. This will then redirect you to the RSA Global Download page. So at the bottom of the page, you will see another download button. Go ahead and click on that. You should now see the, the installer file for RSA to start downloading. So once the installer is finished downloading, you can then go ahead and see it in the folder. And you can see that the setup.exe file has finished downloading. So let's go ahead now and install RSA. So simply double click the .exe file. Here you will be presented with which language you want to install it with. There are several to choose from. I will be using the English option. Follow the default settings. Accept the license agreement. And then once it's finished, go ahead and launch the program. Now that RSA is installed on your PC, you should see a desktop icon for Rescue and Smart Assistant. Anytime you need to launch it, just double click the icon. Anytime RSA is launched, you will have to accept the privacy policy. Go ahead and click continue. For the very first time launching RSA, you will need to create a Lenovo ID. A Lenovo ID can be created by just entering an email address to create an account using your Facebook account, Google account, Windows, and there are some additional other options. For here, we're going to use the Google account. Once your Lenovo ID has been created and successfully signed in, the rescue feature is now available to use. Simply click on the rescue icon. And here are some helpful information. There are tutorials that you can click on. And then there's also some important information regarding how to use Rescue. Please make sure you're using a qualified USB cable. The cable that came with your phone is highly recommended. Make sure that your battery is charged to 60% or higher. And then make sure that your PC has enough space to download and unzip the files. The downloads can run anywhere from 2 to 3 gigabytes, and once unzipped, it can run anywhere from 3 to 5 gigabytes. When you're ready to start Rescue, go ahead and click on Phone Rescue. Here we're going to walk you through how to connect your phone in fast boot mode. The Android operating system must be in fast boot mode in order to use Rescue. So once you have your cable and your phone available, click the next button. Step one, power off your phone. Once it's powered off, go ahead and click the next button. Step two, connect your USB cable to your PC first. Once it's connected to your PC, go ahead and click the next button. Now here's where it's a little complicated. With the, holding your phone in your hand with your finger, press and hold the volume down key. 
Once the volume down key is selected, then you're going to connect your USB cable to your phone. Once the USB cable is connected to your phone, with the volume down key still pressed, you will eventually see the green Android icon. Once that green Android icon is seen, go ahead and release the volume down button. Once RSA will detect your device in fast boot mode, the screen will automatically switch over to show what your device credentials are. Here it will show model name, your IMEI, serial number, as well as your software version. But what we're interested in here is the firmware that's needed to run Rescue. So go ahead and click on the download button to start downloading the firmware. Now here it'll show um, how much time is remaining for downloading and as well as how much of the file has already downloaded versus what the target download is. The download speed, of course, will depend on your home uh, internet speed. Once your download is completed and it shows zero time left, keep in mind that it still needs to go through the firmware unzip process at this point. Once the file has been fully downloaded and unzipped, you are now ready to start Rescue. Please keep in mind that while you're running Rescue, do not disconnect your device during the process. So go ahead and click the Start Rescue button. Now, if you're already on the latest software version, that's OK. Go ahead and click OK. You will have to accept the Lenovo privacy policy. And if you do have any information on your phone that you need to that is not backed up and you need to save it, please be sure to do that before starting Rescue. Rescue will completely erase all user data on your phone. Pictures, contacts, emails, anything downloaded will be removed. It does not touch anything on an SD card but anything on the phone itself will be erased. Once you're ready, go ahead and click Proceed. During the rescue process, it will show the percent that has been completed, and then it will have a counter, but the count is actually going up. It is not how much time is remaining. When rescue is completed, it will show a confirmation message. Go ahead and click the OK button and then the finish button. At this point, your phone should be powering up and RSA can be closed out. I hope that you have found this tutorial helpful and it helps to resolve any possible software related issues on your phone.